What's going on, everybody? It's your boy T Spilling here to give you guys a review for Love and Hip Hop Miami, <clears throat> season one, episode three, called Hey Stranger. So, I guess my question of the day is what it, what are your feelings on JoJo's situation, her entire situation, even dealing with her parents? I'm not going to answer it now because you're going to hear my answer in the review. So, let's go ahead and jump into it. So, we have Bobby out with his boyfriend, uh, Jeffrey. Let me see. Gosh, no, I can't even... I, I'm. Ah, okay. I'm saying like I can't remember him right. So he misses the attention that uh you know misses Bobby's attention in time, and <clears throat> right there, granted this is all scripted, but right there that's a that's a sign when you know your significant other lets you know like hey I miss you know your attention and your time. It does mean some, but again also when you're dealing with somebody that <clears throat> like there's certain professions that people have and this is no excuse by any means but they're going to be dedicated to set crap and in some instances yeah you probably got to play number two but I do think that Bobby <clears throat> I don't like kind of looking at I guess Bobby isn't putting as much attention as he needs to but even that day you know was him trying you know but whatever fuck Jeffrey <clears throat> so now we got uh, Pleasure uh, BBW and Spat uh, apparently Slick'em uh, he was partying the night before, so he, so he couldn't make it out with them, but Pleasure is talking to them, feels that BBW should, um, should apologize, and Shay needs to apologize to him. BBW says, you know, he's willing to do that if he can set some up, no problem, and, you know, he even said that he normally don't go in on chicks like that, so it is what it is. Why the fuck is my shit going on? Ah, oh, it's supposed to rain. In like 10 minutes we actually like it actually snowed <laughs> like, I think what it was is that it rained but of course because it was so cold we got a little bit of snow out there and it's finna rain yeah and I got and like I said I'm about to get ready to go to class and shit but whatever where the fuck did I leave off at alright so BBW asked if he uh, loves her and pleasure without hesitation said yes and then Spec asked him do you think y'all have a future and then pleasure mentions Gabby and, you know, BB Day pretty much said, like, she only hitting you up because she been seeing you on the blogs of Pretty Rick is getting back together. I agree. I said the same thing on my review last week. And, you know, uh, <laughs> but, he, but he also said that, you know, uh, you know, she left. But Bucky didn't suck it out, you know, with you. So, I mean, you need to go ahead and uh, stay with her that whole thing. And Pleasure says he needs to weigh his options. Well, motherfucker, you, you need to do that shit like right quick. Right quick. So now we got Michelle Pooch. She uh, has an event uh, with Simply Jess. Simply Jess is a promoter. Um, so, like I said, help put it together. Um, she has a man named Malik. Um, he's a uh, brand ambassador. Now, they are just friends but he likes to keep up appearances to make it seem as if they are a unit because all right well she even said to him like you need to figure out your situation you know so i can actually find somebody he's like you know with the uh circles that i run in it's kind of hard for me to come out being a gay man so we have this storyline right here and i'm starting to think like okay michelle you ain't finna have like i don't even see why she here but it's a reason that prince is you know on the uh, opening, I guess we could say credits, if you will, and she not. So, I guess she just here to help, you know, pull some storylines together and, you know, launch them off. I guess that's all, you know, she good for. Uh-huh. So, what what the fuck else we got? Da, 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 da. All right, so we got Prince. Um, so, uh, for me, uh, I think it's NFL player Brian McKinney uh, had an app release party, so he helped to throw it. His girlfriend, Liz, is constantly blowing him up, and what texting like 34 times he had a lot of missed fucking calls okay and you know brian pretty much uh gives him a little bit of a pep talk like put the phone up and shit and i don't know exactly how i'm gonna feel about that but the situation will get to him momentarily what i will say is when prince took that shot 
I was disappointed. Because this motherfucker is like, it's not a, you don't do a shot like that, bro. You take that shit to the hell. I'm just like, Lord, Lord. Maybe he don't drink. Maybe he don't drink. But he he was very inexperienced. Uh, so we uh, meet JoJo. And not singer JoJo, but a girl named JoJo. Her name is Joanna, but they call her JoJo. We don't call her JoJo. She is a uh, Mexican and Arabic. She is a stylist. She wants to open up her own boutique. Her father, Antonio, he got the money. He got connect. She ain't say how he made his money. I ain't finna dig too deep. I ain't finna, you know, fucking go in on him because, you know, he looked like he got some bodies on that ass. So, I ain't finna do it. But, you know, he wanted her to be a lawyer. She did not want to be a lawyer. He doesn't. You know, he doesn't really support her, but and she wants him to fund her boutique. He pretty much told her, like, hey, you got six months to leave it. Either I, I'm going to help you out, but you got six months to do it, or take it or leave it. And it seemed like she does have it put together. Uh, she has to do a uh, launch, uh, um, opening party. It's probably not the right terminology, but have a grand opening and... She wants both her parents there. She talks to her father. He says, your mother, like, she is a horrible excuse for her mother. I don't want to see her. I'm not giving her not one more dime. You know, and he is pretty much telling her, like, if you want me to continue to support you, you're going to have to let her go. Mm-hmm. So now we have Amara and uh, Steph. Steph rehashes the whole little thing between her, Veronica, and Young Hollywood. And Amara is a little bit upset because she's almost question well not almost but she's questioning um, the loyalty of Veronica. And I was on the fence even though I'm not going like Veronica. I was on the fence with that situation, but I'll get to that momentarily. So Prince is at a club, whatever. Liz pops up. She wants him to balance his work life with her, but he does say that you get all of my time up until nighttime when I have to go and promote now she is still holding his past against him the fact that he cheated now i mean here's the thing of course i got you forgive but you don't forget you keep that shit well not necessarily right here but right here but let it do this when you know patterns start to repeat itself but at the same exact time if you don't trust the motherfucker like if you're going to keep throwing the shit in the motherfucker face y'all need to be together you know what I'm, saying? I'm not saying let it go but don't be throwing up in the motherfucker face every time just saying so they go back and forth he tried to play her but she was like uh excuse me you you come home to my place she was like he comes home to my place i pay the bills my name on the place eats my groceries my toilet paper wipes his ass like literally just made his ass out to be a motherfucking bum now maybe just maybe this is him conserving his fucking money i don't know but if you got money, bro, you need to go ahead and get your own place now. Because you, you, you looking real weak in these damn streets, man. And, you know, she kind of goes off on him. She was like, you pretty much letting his ass know, like, I can leave. He's like, there's the door. Now, I don't know if they still together because we see uh, they are going to have some type of interaction next week. So, we'll see. And if, and if y'all see the, you know, the water, it... You know, dripping is not sweat. Like, I just got done showering and whatnot. And, you know, I do the whole lock method. You know, liquid, oil, you know, cream. So, while I was in the shower, wet my hair. Got out, put some oil in it. And the cream. So, you know, the excess water is, you know, starting to drip down. And, you know, for natural hair, you're not really supposed to towel dry too much. It's, you know, that whole thing. Y'all y'all know, motherfuckers with natural hair, y'all know. Um, So, Pleasure and Bucky, <clears throat> they meet up. She owns up to, uh, you know, her past doing. He tells her that BBW wants to apologize. She doesn't want him to do her like the others and was putting him on a pedestal. And he was like, yeah, don't hold me to that standard. That kind of was a red flag. That should have went off in her head. It's like, hmm, because that was his way. Of, he was trying to say, I ain't perfect. So if she catch me slipping, well, I already told you I wasn't perfect. I called that shit. And... Uh, but the thing is, like, he's trying to be up front with her, but he still ain't told her about Gabby. So now we back with JoJo. Her mom is uh, living with her. She got served divorce papers. He doesn't want to give her anything. So apparently he ain't trying to give her shit in this divorce. But, again, they haven't gone to court yet, so it is what it is. JoJo says that he's sort of kind of the same thing with her, where 
when she initially didn't want to be a lawyer, he cut her off. And, you know, she was, you know, all living destitute, this, that, and the third. Now, I'm going to say this. And this is going to sound harsh to the motherfucker. I got it. That is his child. I, I got it. But it's one of those where she should have been, you know, making moves, planning and whatnot. She knew what he wanted her to do. Now, if she wanted to be a designer and everything, that's perfectly fine. I don't know if she went to school for it, but if, she, if you're a bright girl, you could have, you know, got scholarships to go and whatnot. And, you know, once you reach a certain age, your parents are not supposed to take care of you. So she's trying to say, oh, I'm privileged, but I'm not privileged. And I don't know. So now... If now if the daddy put out at 16 or 15 or shit like that, that's one thing. But it don't seem like that's the case. So she's not finna win brownie points with me. With the mother, where she says she ain't over her day in her life, this, that, and the third. I also can't feel bad for you. So I'm I'ma share this. I don't know if I should share it, but I'ma share it. You know, like I said, my mother and I, like I said, over the years since, you know, going off on my own, spreading my wings, doing my own thing, we've gotten extremely closer, but we both have single personalities. I'm just the male version of her. So trust me when I say, but, she, you know, she, she the original. She works. But she had said that um, <clears throat> she learned a lot from her mother because she would see her father, like, had all the cards in the relationship, and he would always pretty much... If he got mad, threatened to take the car and all this other stuff, and the cars in his name, and will kind of like hold that over his wife's head to kind of, you know, keep my grandmother in line. And my mother saw that, and she was just like, okay, that ain't never gonna happen, you know, to me. So while she was with my father, I, if you if you think my mother wasn't stacking up for a rain day, you are sadly mistaken. And I got it when you with somebody, you know, they owe everything. If you gonna be kept, you know, I mean, play your position, you know, be kept. And at the same exact time. I mean, I do believe he got him another, you know, boot thing on the side. And I've even seen this with, you know, one of my aunts where she was married to her husband. They literally were separated in the house, living in the two separate rooms. Once they, uh, baby, once they, uh, youngest child reached, you know, 18, divorce, gone, you know, he did, he was out. And I think that's probably what he did because they, they had three kids. And I think once JoJo got of age, she's like, I right, deuces. But the fact that you were not stacking up. I can't really feel too bad. And at the same exact time, I mean, you allowed yourself to be careful. You ain't trying to start no businesses. You ain't did anything. It is sad. Yes, I can't feel sorry for you. I can't. I can't. And, you know, uh, and JoJo even said that the reason that all this happened is he would do a lot of traveling, you know, to and from Mexico. And he is staying there. And he wanted her to come with. And she didn't want to. I don't know if I really believe that is the issue. But hey, if they say it is, I'm not going to call them no lie. But she says that, you know, she is um, going to fight. And even when JoJo said she got cut off, that reminded me of the whole Lucius and Jamal thing. I see them trying to steal from Empire. I see it. All right. Let me see. So now we got Jeffrey, Bobby's our boyfriend, and we got Malik. They meet up at the club. We found out they used to be boyfriends. Their exes now go back down memory lane. They both were in the closet dealing with each other, I guess. Maybe Jeffrey got fed up. I almost called his ass Bobby. I don't fucking know. But they're talking. It seemed like shit got rekindled. Malik, I guess he was over with emotion. He went to the bathroom, you know, because he trying to, you know, put all the pieces together. Because now Jeffrey is, you know, like I said, opening all that and everything production go in there you know with because of course like they need to get this scene they don't want this scene to you know be you know be left where it's at so malik comes in. i'm sorry that malik the one that ran into the bathroom my, my bad malik the one ran to the bathroom jeffrey goes in come from this then third you know and you know they kiss they hug all the good shit so like i said we see that he and Bob, like jeffrey about to leave by but i will say it seemed like Bobby and Malik make a better couple, you know, I guess aesthetics wise than uh, Bobby and Jeffrey. Too many damn names, y'all. All right, so this is like, no, this is the second to last. Thing. All right, so we got JoJo's grand opening. You got Steph, Veronica, and Amara. They're talking. And, you know, Veronica ushers in Young Hollywood as her date. 
she felt that the only way to get her get him to apologize is to be a date to this knowing that Amara was going to be there and I'm just like mm, I don't know that shit seems a little bit shady a little bit shysty now he says that you know he wants to clear the, under, clear the air there possibly was a misunderstanding now I'm going to say to y'all what I felt he should have said and then I'm going to tell y'all what he said he probably should have said some along the lines of <clears throat> when we last talked, the critiques that I was giving or the suggestions that I put putting out is more from an industry standpoint. I've been in the business for a while and I know what the industry is looking for. I do apologize that <clears throat> it probably came out wrong and I possibly did not convey myself the proper way and my actions were not, you know, the best. It wasn't, you know, gentleman-like and I humbly apologize. Do you send my apology? Something along those lines to where he could have made his point but took ownership of the shit. But now nah, he ain't do that. Now, this is what the motherfucker done said and shit. He says, you may have gotten my words twisted. You know, he tells her, you look like a strong female. And she even asked him, like, so, first when he said, uh, you might have got my words twisted, you like, so you said I don't comprehend? Now, I will say, Amara, I love you, but you probably should just let him got everything out and then came with your boat at the end. But again, hey, it is what it is. Um, he's like, you look like a strong female. She like, so you saying I'm not strong? And he's like, I feel like you're being ignorant now. Right now, right the fuck then. You saw uh, Steph's face. My thing is this on, on, on some real motherfucking shit. It's at this point her friend should have jumped the fuck in, just like because at because on one hand, I can somewhat give Veronica a slight pass. Because just because somebody is beefing with somebody does not necessarily mean that I have to. You know, like, it's very elementary. If this motherfucker don't like you, I can't like you because they don't like you. That is one thing. So I can sort of I can sort of give her a pass on that. But when you blatantly see this dude disrespect your friend to your face and you don't say shit, you ain't no, neither one of them are her motherfucking friends. That They gonna let this motherfucker sit here and call her ignorant. Then this motherfucker was up. Are you mad because I'm not all over you? And I think he's mad because she's not falling all over him. I think he actually likes her. And it's just like, he's fucking narcissistic. He's fucking arrogant, egotistical, fucking self absorbed. Like, and this were fucking respectful. Like, I, I, I fucking can't. And, you know. He and she pretty much telling like no, it's because you're not being sincere. Even and I'm just like all right, I, I I can't deal with this fucking clown. I really can't. Like I'm getting to a point where I'm tired of seeing him on <laughs> on my fucking screen. And if y'all haven't checked out my latest tabloids, Trinity House with T, check that out. I actually did talk about Young Hollywood. I think that was in part either three or four. It's one of those. Just watch the whole thing. It's real good. It's real good. It's real juicy. So, Amara says she doesn't want one of Veronica with Young Hollywood. Now, Steph says, well, you can't lock down her kitty cat. Which is true. But, again, the same as that time. If you saw this dude literally just disrespect your fucking friend to your face in front of you, what the fuck makes you think that he not going to sit here and dog you the fuck out? Seriously. Like, whatever. So still at the party now. So JoJo's with her mom. Her father walks in. He, you know the father calls her a horrible mother, like to her face. I'm just like, damn. But he blunt. He's straight to the fucking point. I mean, he ain't missing his motherfucking words and shit. He says he will never give her another dime, even if he has to spend a million dollars on fucking lawyers. He is not gonna give her a dime. I wonder if they got a prenup. I wonder. Um, she is upset. Uh, that this played out in front of you know the crowd. I think she actually met the cameras. But here's the reality: you orchestrated this, you created this. If you didn't want this shit to play out, and here's the: I got it. She loved mom and everything. She could have been like, "Hey, my mama, stay back. Okay, I need to do this appearance. I need to make sure nothing pops off. Daddy is you know putting the money up front. So hey, if I need, if I am go secure this bag and get what I need to get, I need for you to stay home. See, I said, but that shit is it works." Or could have had her mom in another location where she couldn't have been smart about damn fuck. Yeah. Motherfuckers don't know how to play the motherfucking game like shit. If you want to get... 
anyway so now last thing we got pretty ricky 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 uh so a guy named mr ice cream named the flavor after you know pretty ricky pleasure introduces um bucky as his girlfriend to spec and uh bbw which this is like this now the first time uh Slickham wasn't there i can understand but you ain't here and this is like some public shit something's wrong something is wrong but um bbw and bucky they they talk he apologized to her in walks gabby pleasure takes her outside because he's trying to figure out like, why the fuck she popped up you know unannounced she said she saw the shit on you know on social media and shit but he's trying to figure like why she's here and tries to shoot her out but it really didn't seem that way now what i will say is i give <laughs> bbw and spec a uh, A for effort because they was trying to be down for their boy, but but they, they ain't do the shit right. Cause you know they try because you know Bucky walks up like what pleasure? And they was like, well I think he in the bathroom. Now you got fucking spec looking the direction of where the fuck he at. This is one of them moments where they should have stalled her. One of them. The other one should have got his phone out like cold red motherfucker cold red. Like Texas ass did something, but they didn't. And you know uh, BBW trying to hold it back that she go outside. And you hit BBW and it's like, pleasure, pleasure. <laughs> and then she walks up, sees, I don't know, I I know Gabby was feeding him ice cream at one point. I don't know if she did at that at that particular point in time. But Bucky takes the ice cream, throws it, and it lands square the fuck all right here. Not in this region, but right the fuck here. I hollered. But I was upset because this is one of those instances where, you know, you don't go for the female, you go for your dude. And if you a dude, you don't go for another dude, you go for your female. Don't put your hands on the butt, you know what I'm saying, you address them. But that's all the fuck that it is. It seems like next week is going to be on the popping. Um, if I haven't said it, there is a good chance that my last video this week may be married to mess and possibly... If I can do it, get out of the towers, trade the towers with T because of the simple fact that, like I said, I'm about to, you know, go back into my, like, because as soon as I get out of class, I'm going right into a rotation where I'm going to be going until uh, February 1st slash 2nd. But I need to get with uh, the person that's supporting me because if he ends, if he wants to do 24 all 24 all I might be able to do videos, If but if he wants to do 12 on 12 all I just won't be back here until the 1st, so. If you guys don't see a video from me after the end of this week, that is why. But you do know that when I come back, that um, I will go ahead and give you guys all the videos and whatnot. So that's all I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please answer the question of the day in the comments. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys on the next video, which should be Latoum in Atlanta. I'm about to go ahead and throw this video up, get changed, and take my ass on. I'll see you guys later. Peace.